Hello and welcome to your September 2022 full moon reading. Now, <clears throat> there's a picture on the right hand side already about what we can expect. But the first and foremost thing to say about the full moon and the, the phases and the energies afterwards is that it is really all good. So, the full moon is moving in on September the 10th at 9.58 a.m. In the morning, so to speak, which is really, really good because the full moon is in Pisces. Now, Pisces is the sign of the dreamer. And the moon is about our emotions, which means we can now really allow ourselves to go into our softer side, right? Be who we truly are, see things from a much more harmonious point of view. It's really, really important to do that. And then also on the 11th of September, Jupiter is very, very close to the moon. Now, the reason why this is important is because Jupiter, traditionally speaking, is Pisces governing planet, which means its very presence to Pisces gives extra strength to the emotional power that we're all in um, during that time, which is really, really powerful also. Jupiter is believed to have been the very first planet to ever form. Well, after the Big Bang, uh, obviously. And then the idea is that um, because uh, Jupiter was the first planet, he was there at all times, denoting that we are, we are old souls, right? So don't panic over anything that happens to you, right? Because you've been through... So much you've been through everything, right? It's always someone messing with the video, isn't it? Be no, sorry. <laughs> anyway, so and then Jupiter is it the, the Molly? What are you doing? Hmm? Anyway, Molly wants to be in the video, apparently. <laughs> so Remember, Jupiter is, is Pisces' governing planet. Therefore, um, the Jupiter being close to, to uh, the moon is really, really important because it happens in Pisces. Now, like I said, on the 11th... Paul? <laughs> Sorry. She is cute, though. Um, yeah. <laughs> on the 15th of September, then, right? On the 15th of September, the moon is very close to the Pleiades, or the Pleiades, whatever you, however you pronounce this. And the reason why this is important is because the Pleiades is, when it comes to the origin story of um, us, is our planet of origin. So the, you all right, Sugi? In the origin story of, in the origin story of, of shamanic tribes, we come from the stars. We come from a planet, uh, or from we come from an area called the Pleiades, um, and in the Pleiades you will actually find seven foot tall see through spirits and guides, which are actually as Molly. You're showing your, oh, it's not appealing, you know. Anyway, there's a great there's a, there's there, now they, now you have two asses in the video. <laughs> anyway, oh, she is so cute. Anyway, so. So because the moon is our, our emotions and the moon is literally going home, we can allow ourselves to be fully at home in our emotions. You know, allow yourself to feel what it is you're feeling, right? Don't apologize for having uh, weird days. Don't apologize for having great days either, right? Allow yourself to be who you truly are because Jupiter... Uh, is close uh, to the moon and the moon is going home to play these on the um, 15th. I'm so sorry. Mol. Molly? You okay? So anyway, uh, Jupiter is below, is below, um, not the moon, <laughs> Jupiter is below uh, the Pleiades on the 15th, which has a has an effect on us because, like I said, Jupiter is the, is the happy-go-lucky planet um, and is Pisces governing Planet, so now I can actually speak. Now that Molly is sort of <laughs> no longer messing with the video, and it is just important to understand that because we are in Pisces, or the full moon happened in Pisces, and now we're sort of moving away from it. 
the energy still carries on and since Jupiter is so important to the energy of Pisces and Pisces uh, uh, sorry and Jupiter goes to the Ple Pleiades where we are from um, this is all about understanding that we are being charged our energy is, is being renewed really really important and the reason why this is also important because obviously on September the 23rd we have our autumn equinox now ancient astrologers and ancient tribes always felt that the equinoxes are so-called reset buttons very good because there was a time when we had proper seasons <laughs> but they're reset buttons so we're moving towards a reset button where you are the best version you can possibly be and in our all our case um it starts way before the 23rd because it starts with the full moon on the 10th which is really really good now talking about jupiter on the 28th of september jupiter is the closest to the sun now remember jupiter really, really brings happiness to um to proceedings and the sun is the energy that drives everything the sun is also often described as ego now what happens here on the 28th of september is that jupiter and the sun are in a direct line which means an opposition when they're in opposition that oftentimes denotes struggle so the the aspect opposition is actually what is called the hard aspect it means the computer the, the the planets you know play tug of war they don't necessarily um work well together but what that means then for all of us at the end of the month is literally sorry i i shaved the back of my uh sort of head to like uh, anyway it's, it's itchy <laughs> anyway so because these two are in opposition all that means is while you are well not supposed you are encouraged to be light-hearted the sun at times could make that difficult towards the end of the month so choose which mood you want to be in really really important choose with which moods or which mood you want to be in okay that's all we got for uh, the September 2022 full moon reading. But just remember, it is really all good, right? Yes, uh, different people um, assess things differently. And, it, and I'm not assessing it because I, I, I'm just a happy-go-lucky guy. I'm assessing it by how things move in the stars. And Jupiter is very close. And this happens in the sign of Pisces. Jupiter is traditionally speaking the governing planet of Piscean which means giving strength to the sign that the full moon is in um, and because Jupiter is literally the, uh, the the planet that says why don't you see things from a higher point of view why don't you see things from a more light-hearted point of view which is really really important now also there's about you know the, the, the 12 uh, tribes that make up sort of our solar system if that makes sense and of all the planets um, that sort of go along the ecliptic um, Jupiter is the happiest and of all the planets three of them are seen as spiritual teachers Saturn Venus and Jupiter and Jupiter your spiritual teacher is trying to teach you to pay attention to what lowers your mood what pisses you off <laughs> right and then remember no i have a choice to see things from a much higher point of view okie dokie um and and and, and uh, excuse and pardon my appearance i'm recording this at 6 30 in the morning because insomnia sucks <laughs> anyway see you all next time